Winston-Salem police are still trying to figure out who vandalized two radio towers. Look at the damage here. Some radio stations are off the air tonight because of it. WSJS is well known for its talk and sports programming. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz found out about the damage and when it could be fixed. WSJS has been a staple in Triad Radio since the 1920s, originally broadcasting on AM radio before expanding to multiple AM and FM channels. Recently, the flagship channel, AM600, went silent when someone destroyed two broadcast towers. We're still stunned. We're still numb from this just overt attack. Stuart Epperson is with the Truth Network, the parent company for WSJS Radio. This photo showcasing his heartache and disbelief shortly after discovering the damage. That moment right there was probably one of the toughest days of my whole broadcast career. Just sitting there on a tower that had been destroyed and just like, what do we do? And all I could do is just call out to God. After the incident, the North Carolina Association of Broadcasters issued a statement that read in part, quote, NCAB has recently heard reports from several association members of perpetrators intentionally damaging communications towers. These recent incidents coincide with a dramatic increase in metal thefts, with copper, bronze, brass, and aluminum all being targeted, according to law enforcement. Winston-Salem police are still investigating. The FBI is also involved since broadcasters are governed by the FCC. Right now, there is no official timeline as to when the damage will be fully repaired. So we're hoping soon, we're hoping later this week, we're hoping next week to have some sort of kind of band-aid solution. Daniel Cruz, WFMY News 2.